Hello everyone, my name is Wale. Once again, welcome to Building Engineers. And this is the second video in our series. We're gonna be continuing from where we left off last video. Where we, last video we talked about who is an engineer. And today we're gonna to be talking about what makes a great engineer, what makes an engineer good at what they do. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So some people seem to think that when you get your degree, you get your bachelor's degree in engineering, you get your master's degree, you get some kind of a training certificate, or you get your PE, your licenses, graduate from the best universities in the, in the world, go to an Ivy League school, go to Harvard, go to Cambridge, go to Yale, go to IIT from India or IIT in Illinois, wherever you go. Some people seem to think that that means that you've become a great engineer just because you went to those schools. And you even see in the workforce, companies usually hire only from those schools that I just mentioned, or schools like that. They seem to think that if they go to these kinds of schools that they're going to somehow get the best engineers. Some other people think that if you're an engineer and you graduate with a 4.0 GPA, that you get to work in a big multinational engineering firm, that that makes you a great engineer. That's not really what makes a great engineer. You can find bad engineers all the way from the Ivy League schools to Cambridge, to all those schools I mentioned, to the worst training schools, to the worst online schools. You can also find bad engineers in great companies, in big size companies, in multinational corporations, and you can also find them in small corporations. You can also find great engineers in all these places that I mentioned. You can have a really, really good engineer coming out of an Ivy League school, and you can have a really, really, really great engineer coming out from just a community college. It, that's not, it's not the school that you go to that makes you a great engineer. It's not the amount of money you pumped into your education that makes you a great engineer, although that helps. It does help but it's not necessarily the most defining characteristic that you find with great engineers. And so what do you see from great engineers and, and from the people that I've seen, people that I've followed, people that I've, I've listened to, people that have been my mentors, uh, great engineers who have been my mentors, I, I can say the, these five things, these five things are what actually makes a great engineer. The first one is asking questions. A great engineer knows what questions to ask and when to ask them. If you want to be a great engineer, you have to ask questions. You have to be able to ask all kinds of relevant questions to the topic you're discussing. You must be able to ask questions, even if it sounds like a stupid question. You must be bold enough to be able to ask those questions because those questions are what helps you to understand what you're dealing with. It helps you to understand whatever problem that you are trying to solve. If you don't ask questions, then you will never become a great engineer because everyone who has been a great engineer in history from the Edisons to the Faradays, they all ask questions. Why is this thing this way? Why can't it be this way? What makes this thing like this? What, make this, what, what will make this thing better? And green engineers have to ask those kinds of questions because it helps them to understand, it helps them to think in different ways than they're used to. And it helps them not to follow the status quo. It helps them to avoid the status quo. And that makes you a good engineer. Number two, a great engineer solves problems. A great engineer is one who is willing to take on the most difficult problems, is one who is willing to take on the problems that nobody else wants to solve, nobody else wants to handle for whatever reason. A great engineer is somebody who is willing to take on this problem, whether it's a small or it is big. And obviously those problems have to be related to making life better for people around him. And that's what makes a great engineer. So obviously that shows you that somebody who went to school and got a degree from the best schools doesn't necessarily entitle them to being somebody who has the ability to solve problems. They might be book, they might be smart book readers. They might be smart book readers. They might be people who know how to study for an exam. That doesn't make you a great engineer. You might be somebody who knows how to solve all the calculus problems in the world. It doesn't mean you're a good engineer. You have to be able to solve problems that people face on a daily basis in the real world. That's what makes you a great engineer. Number three, a great engineer is somebody who always seeks to understand how things are connected, how systems interact with one another, how parts work together to create something, how parts work together to produce an end result. An engineer is someone who is always looking to understand how those things interconnect. So for instance, a great engineer is somebody who, who would always be try, trying to understand for instance, if I see a new kind of car today, if I see a Tesla today for the first time, I'm going to go around and try to understand exactly how a Tesla is made. I'll try to understand the parts of a Tesla. I'll try to understand exactly what makes a Tesla different from other vehicles. Once you see the uniqueness of different items, you see the uniqueness of different parts, you see the uniqueness of different systems, then that helps you to be able to begin to design your own. When you imagine how you can design your own, well, you have the background of understanding how different systems are connected so you know exactly what's going to make your own different, what's going to make your own better. So a great engineer will always seek to understand 
uh, new systems. We always seek to understand systems that he doesn't understand. He will always seek to understand uh, systems and see how they are put together, how well they work. He should be able to describe exactly what makes one manufacturer different from, a different from another manufacturer. What makes them different? What makes them unique? Number four, a great engineer is humble. A great engineer is not going to be somebody who is so egotistical that nobody can ask them any questions or they're not, never going to be able to ask anybody any questions or they're never going to be able to discuss or relate with the person next to them. A great engineer is somebody who remains humble and remains approachable and remains willing to associate with other people because a great engineer understands that the biggest problems in the world can only be solved by teams and it takes humility to be able to interact successfully within a team structure or to be able to, to get things done in a group setting. I can't begin to tell you how difficult it is to work with an engineer who thinks they know everything or is somebody who is just so egotistical that nobody can tell them anything, nobody can talk to them, nobody can uh, give them a direction. It always has to be their way. That's, that's not somebody who is willing to have progress in a project. That's somebody who's just an enemy of progress. That's somebody who is just a distraction and nobody likes to work with such people. So it's always great to stay humble. Number five, finally, a great engineer has to always be willing to fail. A great engineer has to be willing to try new things and to fail at those new things all with the intention of trying to be better at that thing he's doing to get a better result next time. So a great engineer has to be willing to go all out to try something new, to try a new idea, try a new concept in order to solve the problem that he's working on, in order to bring the project out to completion. The more times you feel at something new, the better you get at doing that particular thing and the more you understand it and the better you will be at solving that particular problem. So what do you think? What do you think makes a great engineer? Why don't you comment down below? And let's discuss more on this topic. Subscribe if you like the videos and there will be more coming up uh, very shortly. Once again, thank you and see you soon.